Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Easter! <laughs> I don't know what that accent was. Happy Easter, I'm sorry. I'm trying to eat a Magnum, but it's literally falling apart. So I'm having to use a bowl. I don't know if you can see that. Well, <laughs> anyway, um, yesterday was, yeah, yesterday was payday. I went shopping, I was, um, yeah, yesterday was payday, I went shopping, um, I had so much I needed to buy yesterday, like, it was crazy, um, I bought so much clothes that, yeah, <laughs> anyway, I just need to leave my bank card alone, um, also, my mum's so cute, she bought me an egg, Eros egg, and today, I sort of like, I'm doing a video! Yeah, I'm sorry about that. And today, um, I decided to, today I decided to spoil myself at the shop. So, I've got, Uh, to be honest, so there's a pack of four, but I gave my mum two, so technically I have two. But there's uh, two chocolates. <laughs> um, I got myself a dairy walnut chocolate. Um, Snickers. <laughs> Snickers duo. <laughs> Listen, it's Christmas. Not Christmas. It's Easter, okay? Like, do not judge me. Uh, tomorrow, I've, I've been hitting the gym, believe it or not. I'm now, I might be short, so a size small. So, yeah, I've been a small in a little while. And I know what you're, you're thinking. You're thinking, it's short, it's stretchy. I know that, but still, it's still a small. Mm. So, <laughs> also, yesterday, um, I bought something. I forgot what I, I bought. But they gave me a pound change. And it was not until this morning I noticed the pound coin that they gave me. Oh, look at that. <laughs> right, honestly. What a ripper. Uh, it's 2022 and they're giving me an old pound coin. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm like totally losing the plot of this video. Um, this is actually a hand-me-down haul and if you don't know what hand-me-down is, it's basically usually if you've got older siblings, it's usually common with older siblings, but um, well, if you're a younger sibling, if you're a younger sibling and you have an older brother or older sister or whatever, you know what a hand me down is. A hand me down is when, is when like something doesn't fit your older sister and then you give it to your younger sister because they're smaller, they're younger, it'll fit them because it no longer fits you. You know, this could be shoes, it could be trainers, it could even be books like books that you know the older sibling no longer needs or whatever and sometimes hand-me-downs doesn't even have to be between siblings it could be uh, like between like friends or mm, parents whatever anyway um my sister i love having a sister like even though i'm the older one and my sister is quite small she's the yeah, she is quite small, but surprisingly, some of her clothes fits me, so um, I'm trying to get back into an eight. That is the goal we're get going for. We're going for size eight to ten, because I'm bored of being a 14. And I know what you're thinking of. Uh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why, why are you eating this? Oh, you're serious about losing weight. I am serious about losing weight, but it's peaceful. Mm. 
I mean, much further I've been. So, right, I'm not eating all this all at once. I just wanted to be very honest. I'm not one of these people that's like, oh, I'm trying to lose weight, so all I'm eating is one apple a day and ten bottles of water. I am being very real with my weight loss journey, which I do plan to do more weight loss, like, do more videos about me going to a gym, just focusing on my weight loss journey a little more on my YouTube channel. So yeah, yesterday I hit the gym and it was fabulous because since working I've been sort of neglecting the gym. Anyway, I know you are waiting for me to start this, so I thought, you know what, let me start with books. Well, actually, let me start with the elephant in the room. You're wondering what this is. Alright, so, um... A few Christmases ago, my mum bought this um, warmer. Me and my sister are warmer. It's meant to be just like a nice warm bedspread. And I got a grey one, my sister got a white one. But her one, she doesn't want it anymore. So she's given it away. And I said, I'll have it because I've got a blow up mattress. I've got a blow up bed for when visitors come, like when, for when, because I've got a lot of friends with children, different things like that. And so, yeah, um, and that'll come in handy for that. And also, um, and also, my mum, she's giving away this box. This actually, I actually bought this. This was like, I bought this like the first Christmas I was in BNN. Um, this was, um, what was this? Yeah, this was meant to be, I think, yeah, it's at the back. It's like, uh, two body lotions and a perfume. Um, it's Audrey Hepburn. But obviously that's like being finished ages ago and now it's just the box. But I like the box. And I'm thinking I could use it for my paperwork, for my passport, for different things, you know, just to keep important documents, you know, because at the moment it's in a shoebox and that shoebox is not really holding very well. And so, and there's a lot prettier. So, so there's that. And also, um, my, I bought myself a word search for the plane when I went to Nigeria. And I bought one for my little brother, and he he hasn't even touched it, so I took it back. Because you know what, like doing word searches and um, doing Scrabble and different things like that, it's really good exercises for the brain, and I'm sure you already know that, but it's true. Like it's really good for keeping your mind young. Um, It's melting everywhere. Yeah, it's really good for keeping your mind young. And yeah, you know what? I'm out. Yep, it's gone. I'm gonna need a spoon. <laughs> Anyway, it's really good for keeping your mind young, and um, it's good for keeping your mind. <laughs> How many times have I said it's good for keeping your mind young? It's good for just keeping your memory fresh and whatever. And this one, there's like a quiz book. It's the same sort of thing. It's like, but this, uh, uh, to be honest, like. I think this was my mum's, I don't know, but it's like a little quiz book and I do like these little quiz things because like, it's like, you know, like it just, as I keep saying, keeps your mind young. Um, I like this notebook um, my mum was given away, she hasn't really used it and so I decided to take it. Also, my little brother, um, this is called What All Kids Should Know and Adults Too <laughs> About Saving and Investing. This is what I need to focus on. This is the whole reason why I wanted to start work as well. Obviously, like, for other reasons as well. But also this, like, I need to 
focus on my savings and investing and you know, I'm having so many different ideas, business plans, different things about my future but I need to I need to be realistic and I need to put in the work basically. <laughs> so I decided to keep that. Um, this book my mum's given away, it's called Dancer and it's about this little boy that was like growing up in World War Two, like he was like I think this was like based in like the nineteen thirties or something like that. Uh, but he wants to be a dancer, like it's a true story. And I think he actually does become like some um, dancer or um, it's from Colin McCabe, Colin McCann. So if that me name means anything to you, I mean, I, obviously I'm not a dancer. I mean, I, I am going back to dance though. I actually booked a um, contemporary class for Wednesday. But yeah, um, I thought this is interesting because I do, I, I love myself like a nice true story. Like uh, I like those, you know, stories where, you know, come from like a hard hardship you had to work hard and then you just achieve in the end like i i love that and then there's this book um i actually bought my mum this actually because she's like really into um the, like world learning about world war Two. my mum loves history like my mum is obsessed with history um it's called the true story of hansel and gretel so you know the story of Hansel and Gretel, there's like the origin, there's like the true, true story behind the children's story, Hansel and Gretel, like there's a true story, it's about these two children who went on the run, um, went on the run from um, Nazis and like they, all the things that they had to basically encounter and so it's called The True Story of Hansel and Gretel a novel of war and survival by Lewis Murphy. Um, yeah, I actually bought this on Amazon, so it might still be there. Um, I actually bought myself this. It's called, I mean, I don't buy myself this, what am I saying? Um, there's my mum's as well. It's called Shining in the Shadows, How to Be a Real Dance Mum. And I don't know. Like, I sort of thought, because it's got things like, oh, uh, living the dream, um, it's not about you, is your money worth it, different things. And I was thinking, oh, well, now I have a child, you know, because the thing is, I guess this would be good for, like, not just dance, but how to be a football mum, how to be a dance mum, how to be a math mum, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, I just thought that'd be good. Um, I bought... I keep saying that, you know, I'm so used to doing hauls that I just automatically say I brought instead of, anyway. Um, this was my mum's as well, Half of a Yellow Sun. Um, I actually bought this for my brother when I bought myself one, just like a few years ago, but he doesn't he's not touched his and I can't find mine so when he was giving his away I thought meh might as well <laughs> might as well keep it it's about road signs AA like it's just all the different signs of the road what they mean and like different things like that I think I bought that on eBay I don't know um all his jazz it, this is about Bob Fosse. If you don't know who Bob Fosse is, look him up. Like he was like a legend. Anyway, um, so this is his autobiography, and yeah, I just this was actually my mum. So I bought this for my mum. She read it in like two days. <laughs> uh, like my mum's a bit like me when she's finished reading a book, you know, like she's been squeezing but like I know some there's a lot of people who can read the same book over and over and over and over and over again but with me I'm just like I read that book thank you next book please <laughs> but yeah so 
there's his story of, you know, it's called All His Jazz. I bought myself, <laughs> and my mum, this was also my mum's, um, it's called Dance Anatomy, and it's actually the anatomy of, you know, like, the dance, it's like what, what tone, what, you know, what muscles you use, and different things like that, and, you know, it's got things not just about dance, but fitness as well, the anatomy, you know, the anatomy, and, know what you know like what's being used what muscle and what bones and whatever i bought this for my little brother but he didn't read it so um when my mum was doing the career out um she let me take it back and you know what i've never i read this when i was like in year four i think and I remember it being such a good book, that's why I bought it for him. But he's never read it, so I took it back. Because <laughs> I thought, you know, I'd actually read that again. It's called Good Night, Mr. Tom. Um, I actually watched the movie of it, it's really sad. And again, it's um, about it's a child who's, you know, growing up in the Second World War. And he's getting abused by his mum or whatever and he goes to stay with this guy who you know shows him you know what love is and shows him what it is to you know be a parent and you know just like gives him that fatherly sort of love you know it's a sweet movie it's a it's a good book as well also got um also this was I think this is my brother's, yeah, this was from my brother's, um, Women Who Changed the World, Legends, it's got, um, Helen, Helen Keller, it's got, um, Suzanne Sungtang, it's got, um, uh, Rachel Carson, Twiggy, Mother Teresa, Martha Graham, um, Lynn Margulis, Bette Davis, like all these different women. Um, basically, you're, it's a bit confusing, I know you're probably thinking, well, he's a boy, why would he care about that? But, you know, it's like, it's important, especially for young boys to know that women does have value too like it's not just men you know ruling this world it's not just men you know making these decisions there's brilliant women as well so um also i've got um this was actually my this was actually my brother's um he actually read it actually um, it's the history of the Red Cross, war, war, Switzerland, and the history of the Red Cross. It's like how the Red Cross came to be, like the history of the Red Cross, basically. You know, and if you don't know about the Red Cross, like if you think like, you know, obviously, like we hear all sorts about the British Red Cross. I give I I give um, charity money to to them regularly, but well, not a lot of money, but you know, like when when it comes through the door, because I remember like four years ago, um, it was Christmas. I'd gotten a big rage. It was like I just started being there not long ago, and I remember um, two letters came in the door asking, you know, that like, does anyone want to give like a Christmas? a Christmas donation to these charities and so I so from then I was just given to charity and then there's this book um, which I bought for my mum but I have but I was waiting for my mum to read it so I can read it because I am my mother's daughter listen to this women who think too much how to how to break free of Overthinking and Reclaiming Your Life by Dr. Susan Nolan Hokazami. That is me. Like, this is... Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, 
Oh my god, like this ice cream, like it is just like gone. Mm. It's not in them. Anyway, and I'm sure what you lot have been waiting for is big massive pile of clothes next to me that you're dying to know well what for the clothes. <laughs> so um I think these were these were mine and then I gave them to my sister when I quit Barnes and then she's given them away so I decided to save them back because I'm going to one dance class a week. Um, whether be it, you know, whether it's um, jazz, contemporary, hip hop, street, whole, whatever. Like one a week, um, mix and match. Whether it's ballet, it doesn't matter. Like it's and just something new. Like yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, my sister's giving away this hat. So I thought, hmm, this will look cute. So I like that. And then these trousers, which they do look a bit small, but they're stretchy. And I don't know if you can see that, but they are long. Not totally long, but they're, they are long. And so, and they've still got a label on them. Anyway, so and she's given away this jumper. These are the things I took. There's so much more that she was given away that I was like, mm, no, not for me. Same with the books that my mum was given away. I was like, mm, not for me. But yeah, so this jumper. It's, I need clothes. It's like. Honestly, there's like a um, fitness crop, cropped t-shirt, you know, you can wear it to the gym, to dance, whatever. Um, also, she's giving away, she's giving away this crop top, like the sports bra thing. And she, and um, because my sister's bigger than me, you know, I'm not very gifted in that area. So she's saying don't give her a lot of support. Whereas me, yeah, it'll be fine on me. <laughs> um, I actually bought this for my sister a few years ago for Christmas. No, no, I bought it was her birthday, I think. Yeah, I think it was her birthday. I don't know. Um, this with a pair of leggings, I bought her like an active wear, obviously it looked a little better before, but um, she's given it away, so I decided, you know what, I'm taking that back, right, that's actually kind of cute. And then these jeans, these um, mum jeans, and they're tall, so can't really go wrong. This pineapple jumper, which to be honest, it needs a bit of a wash to be honest. <laughs> yeah, this pineapple hoodie. This white jumper, she's, she was giving away. So. All the rest of the stuff that my mum and my sister's given away is going straight to charity. Like we are, we have our, we always give to a charity shop. Like we don't just chuck things; we give things to charity. But before that, we get to sift through. You know, having a house of three females where my mum's giving something away, me and my sister look for it. <laughs> when I'm giving something away, my mum and my sister look for it. When my sister's giving something away, me and my mum look for it. Like. I guess that is a benefit of having, I guess you, I guess men does the same thing, I guess, like if 
there's a house of like three brothers or a dad and two sons or whatever like I guess you guys do the same you know like oh who wants these football trainers <laughs> anyway um no they're actually called football boots in it yeah they're football boots Anyway, um, my sister's giving this top away and it's really cute because it's open at the back. I don't know where I'm going to wear this, but yeah. I mean, my sister, she just loves to give things away though. But yeah, it's actually from Nasty Girl. And this shirt she's giving away i'll call it her annie shirt <laughs> if you ever watched that um old annie movie from was it the 80s or, you know the one with the ginger kid who's super adorable yeah <laughs> um this jumper well this hoodie and at the back it says 11 11 you know like at, whenever it's 11 11 i'm always making a wish i'm always like Okay, I wish that had a good way. <laughs> so yeah. Um there's actually a jumper dress. I was actually with my sister when I bought when she bought this. Seven rings. I think I gave yeah, but we went Westfield a few there's actually um when Ariana when they were talking about concert, we went we went Westfield a few um Years ago, I bought everyone like gift vouchers, and there's one of the things she bought with her gift voucher. In the way, this t shirt, she used to always, she used to live in this t shirt, but uh, I kind of like it then. Part of the rebellion, break the rules. Yep. Part of the rebellion is to break the rules. And this, and then this um, t-shirt says over it. It's like a oversized t-shirt, I think. Yeah, she went through her face when she was getting like guys t-shirts so that it'll be oversized. Um, I, I was doing that as well, to be honest. I think all of us were doing that, <laughs> but school just says over it i think that's i like it i think half of these though i'm going to put in the washing machine because they're a little dusty i'm changing these sheets anyway i guess well i just changed them not long ago i don't know <laughs> um this ed sheeran t-shirt there's the front and it just says Ed Sheeran here and he's like holding his guitar. I forgot where she bought this. I think she bought it in um, Primark, I'm not too sure. And then just this t-shirt, it's just normal, it says New York. Downtown Athletic Division. This needs a wash, one thousand percent. You know when you, you know that's old clothes smell. So that's my washing basket down there. I'm gonna put it in there. I swear. Um, these glasses I bought her because she's going to Turkey, but she didn't like them. It is fair enough, but they suit me, so I tried them on myself before I bought them, but we've got two different head shapes, so, you know, they don't suit her the way that they suit me. But they're just like this. And then, and then there's these glasses she bought herself that she no longer want. These sunglasses. And then last but not least, she's giving away this jacket. It's very heavy jacket. It's like you oh it's Primark. You would not think it's Primark. Like it's very like weighty. Like it feels very 
like the quality is amazing like the quality is amazing and she's had this for about three years as well is it 18 no 10 <laughs> honestly i'm losing it but yeah it feels sort of weighty like it feels i would think that this is i don't know like maybe zara or something i wouldn't think primark no disrespect to Primark, I love Primark, but you know what I mean. But yeah, she's given, she's crazy enough to be giving this ja jacket away, so I was like, yes please. So yeah. And yeah. So that is the end of my hand-me-down haul. Um, I don't know if a hand-me-down haul is a thing. Um, I've never really but looked it up, so I don't know. Maybe I'm starting a new thing. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I just wanted to say I hope you have a fantastic Easter. I'm going to get a spoon for my ice cream because it is melting like crazy. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to say happy Easter. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I know, you know what? It's Sunday, okay? It's Sunday. I'm eating junk. But I swear I'm hitting the gym tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you. I'm gonna love you and leave you. And goodbye. <laughs> so, like, comment, subscribe, do all the nice things, share, come, turn on your notifications, and I will see you tomorrow. My name is Nicole. By the way, I forgot to introduce myself at the beginning of my channel. My name is Nicole. Um, this is my channel called Rad Along with Nicole and yeah so thank you very much for watching and stay tuned stay blessed bye